Welcome back to the No Zone. This is a place that's full of laughs, learning, and a lot of fun. My name is Wanja. And I'm Charlie. And I'm Marara. Uh, Charlie? Yes, Marara. <laughs> I love the No Zone. Wonderful. We all love the No Zone, don't we, Wanja? Absolutely. We are going to have a lot of fun together today because we have a lot of exciting things in store for you. But first, let's go meet our studio guests. They're waiting for us in the chill out zone. Come on. Hello, everyone! Hello! How are you? Fine! Very good. Why don't we start with you saying a big hello to everyone who's watching at home? Hello! Excellent. We're very glad to be having you here and hosting the show with us. We're so happy that you're helping us today. And uh, we hope that you're going to have lots and lots of fun. Are you having fun? Yes! Hey, Excellent. Hey, 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 hey. I'm also having fun here. Hi, Marara. Have hello. you met our studio guests? Hi, everyone. Why don't we all say a big hello to Marara? Hello, hello Marara. Marara. Hello, my friends. Now, I need you to help me. Can you please tell me what this week's buzzwords are? Can you do that? Yes! Very good. I hope you have a pen and a paper so you can write down this week's buzzwords. But first, who can tell me what these buzzwords are teaching us about? Measurements! Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> yes, they are teaching us about measurements. So please, we all need to learn about measurements, so listen very carefully. So, who would like to tell us our first buzzword? Irungu? Length. Height. Size. Formation. Narrow. Everyone, that's a good job. Now, I hope you at home wrote down all the buzzwords because you might be hearing a few of them in our next program. That's right. So now it's time to watch the... Jackson Juniors! Jackson Juniors! So the teacher just gave the tape measure? Yes. The teacher said I could borrow it. We used it today to measure who the tallest in our classes. You should measure me when we reach the hideout. I'm sure I'm taller than Nita. Nita is definitely taller than you. You never know. I might have grown taller since today morning. <laughs> <laughs> to us, the Junction Juniors don't hurt anyone. We help people. Maybe the wind did it. Last year, there was a strong wind which blew off the roof of the school canteen. But the hideout is strong. It's made of wood. Password. But I'm already inside Measure. Spell it. M E A S. U R E. What's wrong? It happened again. Babu stole my biscuit. Ah! Ah! Come on! Oh, no. Biscuits. Babu steal your biscuits again. I don't know. That's what bullies do. But this time I'm going to get my biscuits back. He must have a reason. Maybe he's hungry. 
It doesn't matter. We have to rebuild our hideout. Since Babu won't help us, stop talking about him and let's collect what's here. Hey, look! It's a footprint. It's the same size as Babu. Maybe Babu's the one who destroyed our hideout. Just because he stole your biscuits doesn't mean he also broke our hideout. But he's a bully, and that's what bullies do. Hey, look. Look at these footprints. They look like animal footprints. But what kind of creature has both human and animal footprints? The creature is in the woods watching us right now. Ah, creature or no creature, I'm going to go and find Babu and get my biscuits back. Yes. Yes. Now who's with me? Yes. I'll help you. Us boys could build a hideout as you girls could relax. Why? Why? Building is a boss job. I'm sure you don't know how many centimeters make a meter. There he is! Wait! Give me back my biscuits. They're mine. Give us those biscuits. Or else. Papa, why did you do it? Why did you steal Brian's biscuits and then knock down our hideout? I thought you were a good person. What are you talking about? I didn't knock down your hideout. The only reason I took Brian's biscuits was to give them to those bullies so they'll leave me alone. But we followed the footsteps and found you. I promise, it wasn't me. I've never even seen your hideout. Come on, we need to go and help Brian. He'll be in real trouble if Freddy and Damos catch him. Girls can do everything boys can do. Nita and I built this camouflage net to cover the hideout. So what? That is weaving. It's a girl's job. James, it's true. Boys could build this hideout as high as a mountain. Boys are better. It doesn't matter who is better. We are arguing and nothing is getting fixed. Nita is right. Boys and girls are the same. OK, let's build this hideout as a team. Then, if we are the same, then how comes I don't get to wear a skirt to school? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where are the others? Aim or search him. Empty those pockets or else. <laughs> hey, why don't you leave Brian alone and pick on someone your own size? Or are you too weak to bully someone bigger than us? What did any of us do to you? We could even be your friends if you stopped bullying people. Go! Quickly, before we change our minds. And you, stop playing with babies. All babies cry. I'm not crying. steps were too big to be bubbles. Bubbles' feet are short and narrow, so they can't be bubbles. What if Habiba was right about the creature in the forest? I know what destroyed the hideout. Look! You're such a bad cow, Karoli. It's bad cows. What are you doing here? We came to find out who or what destroyed our hideout. And since one of your cows has a piece of our wall on its horn, it must be responsible. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. 
I just turned away like this and they rushed out of the cow shed. What can I do to repay you? Well, it looks as if you've all been very busy today. We have, Mas Philip. <laughs> and we've learned that boys and girls are equal. Mm -hmm. And that bullying is wrong. Yes. Maybe Freddy and Amos don't have any friends. That's why they pretend to be brave. I agree. If you are kind to them, they might stop bullying everyone. That's a very good idea, Anita. But it is very important to tell an adult if you're being bullied so that they can help you. <clears throat> well, this is what I call teamwork. Yeah! <laughs> That was excellent. Did you all enjoy that? Yes. yes. Did you hear any of the buzzwords? Yes. Who can tell me what you heard? Yes, Akot? The password was measure. Very, Very good. good. Uh-huh. Someone else? Yes. They measured everyone else. Very good. Jimmy? Brian thought that the food size was same as Babu. Yes. What else did you hear? Akot? Uh -huh. That boys and girls are equal. Good. Yes. Bullying is wrong. Very good. Very Jimmy? Good. We shouldn't accuse people of doing wrong just because we think they are bad. Mm -hmm. And if we are kind to people like Freddy and Amos, they might change and learn to be kind too. Oh, that's true. That's Great. true. <gasps> you know what that sound means? It's time for cool words. and welcome to Cool Words. Uh, today I'm going to be teaching you lots of very interesting things. But wait a minute, where is Marara? We can't start without him. Can we call out for him? And one, two, three. Marara! Oh, hello everyone, hello. Hi. Hello. Oh, hi, I'm sorry I'm late. I had to look for my pencil. It's okay, now that you're here, are you ready to learn? Yes. Are you ready to learn? So today I'm going to teach you something new. But before we start, do you remember a game we played some weeks ago? Something about I spy with my little eyes? Yes, yes, yes. oh yes, okay. it was great fun. Okay, so what were we learning? What was the game I spy helping us to remember? Let me give you a clue. It had something to do with remembering words. Oh, 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 I know, I know, I remember. We were learning about nouns. That's right. I'm sure you remember that a noun is the name of a person, like teacher, Wanja, and Charlie. Now, what else is a noun a name of? Yes, Mbatha? A noun is a name of a place. That's right. So a noun is also a name of a place. When a noun is the name of a place or a person, we call that a proper noun. Can we say that together? Proper, proper noun. noun. Excellent. So can you think of other proper nouns? Oh, me, 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 me. Yes, Marara. My name is a proper noun. Marara. Excellent. So everyone's name is a proper noun. It must start with a capital. Letter. Letter. So can you look at your name tag? What is special about it? Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see something. Yes, Marara. The first letter of each name starts with a capital letter. You're absolutely right. So all proper nouns must start with a capital letter. And that applies for everyone's name, okay? Hey, hey, yes. look, look, my name. It's on the screen, look! Oh yes, and it's written perfectly. It's starting with a capital letter. Now let's say all our names and see how they appear. Jimmy. Akos. Mbaza. Irongo. Yaguro. Jenga. Mwangangi. 
Now, I hope you remember that when you're writing your name or someone else's name, it should always start with a capital letter because it's a proper noun. Now, let's practice looking for some proper nouns in some sentences. We all know that proper nouns start with capital letters. Mm -hmm. Oh, we should be able to see them so easily. Oh, yeah, you're absolutely right. So, let's see our first sentence. Now, it says, Washara and Abdul walked home with Daudi and Juma. Can we read that sentence together? Washara and, and Abdul walked home with Daudi and Juma. Excellent. Now, which are the proper nouns there? Yes, Jimmy. Washara. Washara. Yes, Jimmy. Abdul. Abdul. Daudi. Daudi. Yes. Juma. Juma. So we have four proper nouns there, which are Washera, Abdul, Daudi, and Juma. Well done, everyone. Now, did you spot the proper nouns at home? I bet you did. Uh, Teacher Pendo. Yes. You also said that the names of places are proper nouns. Do they start with capital letters too? That's right. All names of places are proper nouns. They start with capital letters. Now, can you think of any names of places? Can you name me some of them? Yes, Irungu. Africa. Africa. Yes, Keguro. Kenya. Kenya. Mm. Uganda. 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 Hey, look. They all start with capital letters. That's right, because names of places are proper nouns. Now, well done, everyone. You've all been brilliant. Why don't we finish our lesson by playing a game? Yay! This is a great game because you can play it anywhere at any time. You can play it while walking from school. You can play it at home with your family. It's called proper nouns, and you can play it with names or places. Now, which one shall we choose? Oh, oh, oh please, please. Yes. Can we play with places? Oh, I love hearing about different places in the world. We are going to play with names of places. Now, I choose Nanyuki. The next person has to think of a place that begins with the last letter of the word that teacher Pendo has just said. So, what letter does Nanyuki end with? Anyone? 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 Yes. An I. Okay. So who can think of a place beginning with the letter I? Oh, me, 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 yes, me. Yes, Marara. India begins with the letter I and ends with the letter A. Hmm. Now, who can tell me a place beginning with the letter A? Africa. Africa, good. Africa ends with the letter A. Hmm. Now, who can tell me another place that begins with the letter A? Afghanistan. Afghanistan, good, 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 good. Great. Afghanistan ends with the letter N. So, who can tell me a place that begins with the letter N? Yes. Nigeria. Nigeria, good. Now, the next one would have to begin with the letter A. <laughs> Well done, everyone. You've all been brilliant. What a fun way to think of proper nouns. It's now time to go find out what's happening out there with Maspidi on Out There. Hello, people. Would you believe it? I've been delivering milk all day long and now I'm so thirsty. I need a drink to cool me down. Which soda should I choose? Oh, there are so many flavors I can't decide. Hmm, I know somewhere I can go to help me decide. Follow me. I've come to the softer bottling factory to find out exactly how they make this tasty soda. I bet you can't wait to find out how to make soda. Wow, have you ever seen so many bottles of soda? The crates have been stacked so high, they almost reach the roof. I need someone to tell me how they make this stuff. Let's go. This is Mr. Julius. He knows all about soda and is going to show us around the factory. The first thing you need is a glass bottle. But mm, 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 mm. this one smells terrible. Mm, mm. We cannot drink our soda out of this. Aha! Now I understand all of 
of the bottles are taken to be washed thoroughly in a special machine called a bottle washer. Watch how the bottles move along the conveyor belt into the washer. How many bottles can you count? Now, let's find out how they make the soda. Mr. Julius tells me that the main ingredient is sugar. First of all, they measure out lots and lots of sugar into a deep tank. The sugar is then boiled and it melts into a sweet and sticky syrup. The syrup is then pumped through a broad pipe into a clean tank. It is very important that the right measure of each ingredient is used. If you put too much sugar, it might ruin your teeth. Mm. It smells delicious. <laughs> now that the syrup has been made, it is time to fill the bottles with the soda. The man is putting bottle tops into the machine so that none of the soda can spill out of the bottles. The bottles are raised by jacks to the right height so that they can be filled without spilling a drop. Now it's time for the bottles to be sealed with a bottle top. Wow, it all happens so quickly, doesn't it? Each bottle is checked to ensure it has the correct measure of liquid in it. When the bottles have been checked, they are then put into crates ready to be taken to shops and kiosks all over Kenya. <laughs> I wonder where the bottles will end up. Perhaps you'll be the one to buy them. Let's say a big thank you to Mr. Julius for showing us how soda is made. It was very interesting, wasn't it? Now, 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 which soda shall I choose? I'll have that one. No, I'll choose that. No, I'll have that. No, 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 no. Maybe this. Um, 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 what, what about that? Hi, Mas Speedy here. Don't go anywhere just yet. I hope you enjoyed the visit that we had at the solar factory. I'll be visiting lots of different places in the next few weeks on the Nozone. And I thought it would be a good idea just to give you a very special sneak preview of what you're going to be enjoying. Do you like taking trips? If so, you will not want to miss out on a trip to Mombasa. Join me on my fairy adventure. about having a go at beekeeping. I love honey, but you have to be careful when you walk around bees. And if you love tasty treats, you will really enjoy visiting this biscuit factory. Those are just some of the fantastic places that we'll be visiting in the next few weeks. But for now, it's time to go back to Wanja and Charlie at the studio to get to hear from them what they thought about our visit at the soda factory. Wasn't that great? I didn't know that's how soda was made. Neither did I. I'm thirsty now. Oh, me too. Uh, Charlie, can I have a soda? We'll definitely have a soda after this. Stay tuned, because we have lots of fun right here on The No Zone. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. <laughs> very good. Now, we're very happy that you're here to help us today with the show. But first, who can remember what the buzzwords are? Length. Size Measure Narrow 
Excellent. Now, do we all know what these buzzwords are teaching us about? Measurements! Excellent. Great. <laughs> now, I hope you at home have written down the buzzwords. Don't we, Mara? Hey, where's Marara? Why don't we all call out for him on three? One, two, three! Marara! Hey, 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 you scared me. What's wrong? What's going on here? Huh? 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 Marara, where have you been? Oh, I've been talking to my very good friend, Ranger Rukia. Oh. Mm -hmm. What animal is Ranger Rukia teaching us about today? Okay, I'll give you a clue. You'll need a very, very long ruler to measure the height of this animal. They are mm. very tall. Ah, mm. I think we know what animal that is. What about you at home? Do you know what animal that is? Why don't we uh, go into the wild zone and find out? Hello, Nose on Rangers. I'm Ranger Rukia, and I'm here to tell you all about these wonderful animals, giraffes. Did you know that giraffes are the tallest animals in the world? Giraffes can grow to a height of up to five and a half meters. That's very high. And their shoulders can be as wide as two and a half meters. That's wide. Giraffes use their height to reach the tasty leaves at the top of very high trees that many other animals cannot reach. A giraffe needs to eat hundreds of leaves every week. The giraffe's height enables them to keep a sharp lookout for predators who might want to eat them up. Giraffes have beautiful patterned skin. Just like us humans, no two giraffes look exactly the same. Each one is unique. There are three different species of giraffes in Kenya. The Maasai giraffe, the reticulated giraffe, and the Rothschild giraffe. You can tell which one is which because they all have different markings. This is a Rothschild giraffe. Giraffes have very long tongues. Their tongues are so long that they can even clean their nose with it. Can you reach your nose with your tongue? Go on, try. Did you know that the giraffe only needs to sleep for about one hour every day? I need at least eight hours of sleep so that I can be alert and a good ranger. Giraffes have got very long legs. Look how fast these adult giraffes can run. Their legs are so strong they can kill a lion with one kick. Wow! Giraffes can drink 12 gallons of water in one go. That's a lot of water. Drinking is difficult for giraffes. They have to stretch their legs wide apart so that they can reach the shallow water. And because of this, it makes them vulnerable to predators like lions because they can't kick them. Lions are not the only things that kill giraffes. Sadly, giraffes are also killed by habitat destruction. This happens when humans cut down too many trees for firewood or build roads and buildings where giraffes live and the giraffes have nothing left to eat. As loving humans and nose on rangers, we must take care of our environment and protect it. Like people and all other animals, our tall friends, the giraffes, have a right to live in a safe environment. Wow, Ranger Rukia is so interesting, isn't she? Mm. Yes. And I didn't know that giraffes could touch their noses with their tongues. Yeah. Neither did I. Can you actually do that? Like, touch your nose with your tongue? Let's try. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't think I can. My tongue is too short. Everyone, it's time for hot numbers. Hello everyone and welcome to Hot Numbers. Today we are going to learn about odd and even numbers. Hey, I didn't know you could have odd numbers. 
I only thought you could have odd socks. <laughs> well, numbers are a bit like socks. When your socks don't match, we say they are odd socks. Same applies for numbers. Now, to help us learn more about odd numbers, we are going to play a game. Now, you can play that game at home. All you need is some small objects like bottle tops and little stones. Okay, now off you go. Find yourself some objects to play with. You'll need about 10 of them now. While the kids at home are figuring out what to play with, I want you to pair yourselves into groups of twos. We are going to play with this bottle top. What about me? I don't have a partner. I'm the odd one out. No, you're not. You're going to pair up with Jimmy. Ah, okay. Jimmy! Okay, so have you found something to play with? Great, then let's start our lesson on odd and even numbers. What are we going to do with this bottle top? Well, I want each team to pick up five bottle tops. Come on, each team, five bottle tops. Now, I want you to arrange your bottle tops in two piles, and each pile should have an equal number of bottle tops. Now, have you done that? No, you can't. There's one left over. Are you sure? Well, let's try it again. So, I will divide this between me and you, okay? So, one for you, one for me. One for you, one for me. Ah, so there's actually one left. That means that five cannot be divided into two equal piles. That means that five is an odd number. Hey, so does that mean any number which cannot be shared or divided equally is an odd number? That's right. Well done, Marara. What do you call a number that can be divided equally? That's right. An even number is a number that can be divided into two equal parts. Now, let's try it together, okay? okay. Yes, let's try it. So let's put try. back let's the bottle try. tops here. Now, I want each team to pick up six bottle tops and then divide the bottle tops equally between you and your partner. So six bottle tops each. I hope you're going to do this at home. So have you divided equally? Yes. yes. Are there any bottle tops left over? No. So that means a six is? An even number. Well, now, to help us remember more on odd and even numbers, I have this number chat, OK? So which is the first even number that you can see here? Two. OK. So two is our first even number. Which is the next one? Yes, Mbatha? Four. That's right. So four is the next even number. Which is the next number? Yes, Sirungu? Six, six. Hey, me, me, next one. I'll yeah. take the next one. Yes. Eight. That's right. And which is the next one? Yes, Mongangi? Ten. Ten, that's absolutely right. So we can go all the way to a hundred, like I did earlier on on this chart. Okay. Half the numbers on this chart are highlighted. Then the numbers that are not highlighted must be. Yes, Njenga? Odd numbers. That's right. There must be odd numbers. Hey, hey, hey. Can we count in the odd numbers and give them a different color? Yes, of course we can. So, who can tell me what the first odd number is? One. One. Okay. And which is the next one? Three. Three. And the next one? Five. Five. Easy, isn't it? Yes. Which is the next one? Seven. seven. Good. And what follows seven? Nine. Nine. And then? Eleven. Eleven. You know, we can be here all day, but I'd done my chat earlier on. And I want you to tell me if you notice something very interesting yes, here. Yes, 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 yes. 
Yes, Marara. Odd and even numbers take turns to appear on the chart. That's right. After well done. Every odd number, mm -hmm. you have an even number. All the odd numbers end with a one, a three, a five, a seven, or a nine. Well done, Marara. So, does that mean that if a number is really big and ends with one, three, five, seven, or nine, it must be an odd number? Yes. That's exactly what it means. And our even numbers end with a two, a four, a six, an eight, or a zero. I want us to end our lesson with a game, okay? Now I need you to pick a number from this number chart. And then you tell us which number you've picked and the rest have to guess whether it's an odd or an even number. The first person to get it right is the winner. Are you ready? Yes! yes. Which number are you going to choose, Jimmy? 39. 39. Is 39 odd or even? Irungu? Odd. Well done, Irungu. Which one are you going to choose, Irungu? 60. So is it even or odd? Even number. Good, good, Well good. done. It seems you're all getting the hang of this. Carry on. OK, so who's going to pick the next number? Yes. It's now time to get creative on Art Zone. Hi kids, welcome again to another session with art and fun. And today we're going to use just ordinary charcoal, but we look for the soft one, not very hard. And also you need a rubber. We're going to draw on a white piece of paper and you start first and separate the paper into two. The next thing I'm going to do is to draw a squiggish line over the straight line. Next, I'm going to draw two trees. And this is a very nice charcoal. And another small one from here up till there. We're going to do this process 10 times over. So this is my first drawing and I rub it out. I do it again and this time I press it hard and I go over again. And I have the freedom to change the line if I did not like the first one. Have you done that? And I rub it out again. Again, I go over it again. I start with the horizon line. And this time, I shade in between the line. And I rub it out again. Number four, I shade again inside. And then I draw the trees again. And from this one, I put the leaves on the trees. Yeah. Have you done that? Again, rub it out. The darker it gets, the better. Ignore now the squiggly lines and the shading, and we go straight to the trees. And again, we rub it away. The horizon and the trees again. I think I'll change the leaves a bit. Next, I do not draw the small tree, and I just draw the big tree. Only the big tree. The leaves again. Because it's too dark now, I can stop there. And I use a rubber and just rub across it. And I am also free again to change if I feel that it's not going the right way. And then I can rub a bit on the sky, just a bit, to create some atmosphere. Then I go to the ground, just where I drew the horizon line and I rub it a bit. And then I go up now to the trees. You have to press the rubber. And then on the leaves again, and then I can rub small lines to create an impression of a small forest behind there. And then I sign it. That's it. Interesting. I didn't know you could draw with charcoal. Yeah. <laughs> Me neither. But I'm a bit worried it would make my paws dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Marara, you're a funny lion. <laughs> all right, let's all calm down now. And that's because it's now time for our very serious spelling competition, Spell It. 
Animal. Animal. Chapter. Building. Narrow. Respect. Respect. Deep. Vegetable. Work. 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 Welcome to Spell It. Now Mwangangi, Jenga, and Akoth. You're about to step out of the shadows and into the light to compete for the top prize of the Nozone Spelling Champion, in which the winner will go home with their very own Nozone Dictionary. Now each contender has just 30 seconds to spell correctly as many words as possible. If you want to hear the word again, simply say repeat and the word will be repeated for you. Each word counts as one point, so the more words you spell right, the more points you have. Are the rules clear? Yes. yes. Excellent. Mwangangi, you're up first. Please take your place on the spelling zone. Mwangangi, your 30 seconds start now. Long. L-O-N-G. Size. S-I-Z-E. Short. S-H-O-R-T. Height. H E Height H E T R T Widest Time up Good Mwangangi Well Thanks done well Jenga well <laughs> you're up next Please take your place on the spelling zone. Jenga, your 30 seconds start now. Low. Repeat. Low. L L O W. Tank. T O U N G E. Broad. B R O W. Length. L E N G T H Litter. L I T R E. Narrow. N A W O W. Time up. Time up. Very well, Jenga. Very well, well done, Jenga. Well done, well done, well done. Akoth, you're up next. Please take your place on the spelling zone. Akoth, your 30 seconds start now. Hi. Repeat. Hi. H-I-G-H. -H. Tall. T-A-L-L. Deep. D-W-E-P. Depth. D-E-P-T-H. Meter. M-E-T-R-E. -E. Measure. M-E-A-S-U-R-E. -S -U -R -E. Building. Repeat. Building. B-U-I-L-D-I-N-G. Longest. L-O-N-G-E-S-T. Time, Time up. up. Well Very done, Akoth. Well, well done, well Very done. Very good. Well done. And now I can reveal the scores. In joint second place, with three points each, we have Mwangangi and Njenga, which means our No Zone Spell It winner for today with the first perfect score, might I say, all eight words spelled correctly is a cough. Everyone, give a round hey, of applause. Good. Come well on, done. step forward and receive your prize. Well done. Well done, Akoth. You are the Nozone Spell It Champion. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> good, well done. Excellent. Let's give another round of applause. You have all been brilliant. I think it's time for us to take a break. It's time for African Tales. Today, I'm going to read you a very special story. We're going to discover why the hare has a short tail. Now, don't forget to look out for this week's buzzwords. So, here we go. A long, long time ago, when mountains could walk and animals could talk, Hare had a long, white tail, the same length as monkeys. 
Hare would spend all day admiring his tail, singing his favorite song. Oh, what a lovely tail I have. It's the envy of all the land. Whenever he saw another animal, he would hold his tail away from them, saying, Oh, be careful. Do not step on my beautiful long tail. One day, a long drought came. King Lion called all the animals together to discuss the situation. Hornbill flew onto a branch of a tall tree. We shall dig a deep hole until we reach water to drink and pour on the grass to make it grow. Everyone clapped and cheered Hornbill's wisdom. Animals with horns, like Rhino, said they would use their horns to dig. Others rushed home to get sticks and hoes and bangers. Since I don't want to spoil my long, beautiful tail, said Hare, I will stand here and advise you on how to dig. As they dug, the hare sang to himself, Oh, what a lovely tail I have. It's the envy of all the land. The animals worked hard, digging deeper and deeper. Soon, it became dark, but they didn't stop digging. They worked all night under the moon and carried on as the sun rose again. But still, there was no water. Dig deeper! Stop being lazy, ordered Hare. Stop being so bossy and come and help us, complained Rhino. No. That will spoil my tail, replied Hare. The hole is too narrow. It needs to be wider. Elephant, since you are the widest animal, stand there and let the animals dig around you, shouted Hare. For three days, the animals dug and dug while Hare gave orders for the hole to be broader, deeper, longer and wider. Suddenly, Giraffe, who had his long neck all the way down the hole, shouted, Water! All the animals danced around the well in joy. Hare jumped towards them, shouting, Since I am the one who advised you on the correct depth and measurements for digging the well, I am going to be the first to wash my long white tail it has been dirty for too long. Elephant stopped in front of Hare and said in a booming voice, No, you haven't dug a single meter, and so you won't get even a liter of water. Hare realized he could not fight with Elephant, who weighed thousands of kilograms. So he went away, muttering angrily to himself. That night, while all the animals were sleeping, Hare tiptoed to the well. He drank all the water he needed and washed his precious long tail. He picked up a long stick and started to stir up the mud and spoil the water in the hole. In the morning, the thirsty animals hurried to the hole to drink the fresh water, but they could not drink because it was muddy. Someone has ruined our water. We must find out who did it. So when night fell, the animals hid behind a bush and waited. Eventually, Hare came to the well, washed his tail in the clean water that had settled, then started to stir the water to make it muddy again. The animals jumped out of their hiding place and caught Hare. How shall we punish him? Lion decided that Hare had to leave their community because he had tried to kill all the animals by denying them clean water. But how will we be sure that he has left? asked Antelope. We already know that he's not trustworthy. Just then, Elephant had an idea. Why don't I swing him by his long tail? and throw him far, far away. The animals agreed 
and Elephant swung Hare round and round, faster and faster. Suddenly, Hare's tail snapped. Hare was thrown over the heads of the other animals and landed with a thud on a rocky place. Since that day, the Hare has always had a short tail. The Hare also hides from other animals and knows that if they find him, they will tell him off for trying to destroy their water. The end. What a great story. It just goes to show how important it is to work together and to look after each other. I hope you spotted the buzzwords. I did. Well, that's all we have time for today, I'm afraid, but I hope to see you all again soon. Goodbye. Did you all enjoy that story? Yes! Great. But sadly, we've come to the end of the programme. Oh, no! Before we go, we have to say thank you to our studio guests. Thank you for helping us with the show. You are all wonderful. Now, come on, let's say goodbye to all the people watching at home. Bye! Bye.